Hello. This is just a short little video for the people uh, that watch my channel that are into black powder shooting, specifically for guys that shoot percussion cap guns. Uh, you're going to sooner or later encounter a nipple being frozen into the bolster. You just can't get out. Wrench, pliers, nothing's going to work. And uh, you need to get it out of there. This is the easiest way I've found to do it. And what I do is, uh, first off, I'll take the gun and soak it in a cano, coil oil, inside and out. I'll put a good dose of that in there. Let that sit for a couple of days. Just work its way down. And then I'll come back and I'm going to heat this bolster up. And you can use propane. That's the best way that I've found. You don't need any special gas or acetylene or anything. Just a propane torch. You want to get this thing hot. Super, super hot. Smoking hot. Not hot enough that it's glowing red and looking like it's an anvil forge or, or a piece of steel. It's about to be bar beat. Just smoking hot. And I'm going to go away, let this thing cool. I'll come back, put a little bit more coil oil on it, let it set for a couple hours. And then I'm going to reheat it. I'm going to reheat it until all that oil burns off. And once that's done, what I do is cut the cone off the nipple so that I get down to the flat seat. Where your, uh, where your studs are here for removing it. And then I'll take a file or you know, any, anything, a grinder, and uh, smooth that off, get a nice flat surface. Then I'll select a drill, drill a hole through the nipple, and then I'm going to tap a easy out in here like I've done. Get that down in there set real, real well, as good as you can. And I use a tap wrench. You can use a crescent wrench, but I found a tap wrench works the best for this. Oh, one other thing that I do, I'll use a, a little ball mill, or you can even use a drill. And if you have a flat down here on the nipple, you'll want to drill down onto that flat and create a stress reliever. And what that does is allow this to flex a little bit. And if this is frozen down, the flat's frozen down onto the bolster, that'll actually help to break that free. You won't have to use as much stress on it or as much force on it trying to get it out. Once that's done, it just takes a little bit of force and the nipple will come right out. There we go. And you see how corroded that one is. Nice and rusty. Now, of course, this is going to destroy the nipple, but that's why they make replacement nipples. Anyway, I hope you found this video uh, informative and entertaining. Thank you for watching.